Hey, Mr. Mosquitoes. How y'all doing? I hope that y'all doing well. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think today Thursday. This necklace is getting on my damn nerves. Anyway, on the roster, I'm not saying where they going at right now because I'm not sure. Um, Paula Abdul messages to Nigel Legaro. Lego. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Um, L Y T H G O E is the spelling of it. Help me out, y'all know how the fuck I am, okay? Um, she's accusing, she's suing him for sexual assault. She said that he sexually assaulted her on two different occasions while she was working, um, I think for American Idol. Um, we're also going to do an update on TD Jakes. As y'all know, um, I have a TD Jakes reading already that I've done months ago. I'm going to revisit that, um, in regards to, uh, William McCray. Um, he said that he was wearing a thong and eating peach cobbler and sent him a picture. So we're going to talk about it. You understand? Um, that probably will go on um, Patreon because I ain't having my shit striked again. Um, Lee Daniels, we'll talk about him in regards to uh, who he is as an individual. And then I also have um, whoopee messages to Oprah. That'll be juicy, right? Um, and I also have uh, Martin Luther King and um, Hoover. Now, Larry Hoover, I believe uh, I believe the, the white dude, well, he wasn't even white. He was actually... Um, very much mixed. People thought that Hoover was white, but he was actually black. He wrote a love letter to MLK. I didn't say it. I didn't say it, but I saw the letter. Um, I saw it on someone's video. I can't remember the, the guy's name, but when I when I see it, I'm going to rewatch that video of his. I'm gonna find it and rewatch it so I can snap a picture and put this shit up. But apparently, he and Hoover had some type of relationships going on. Um, and Margaret and Denise, I did not forget about you. I'm, um, I'll probably go live tonight to do some live readings, um, and pick you guys up tonight because you were on here the other day. So welcome to Mackendall 7, running for the tarot. Y'all make sure that, um, y'all pray every single day. Don't forget that shit. I'm gonna say it in the beginning. Make sure y'all praying every single day, four times a day. I don't care. Pray, pray, pray. I got to get that out there. Spirit wanted me to let y'all know to pray. Um, Everything in this video is alleged, and um, we're also going to talk about the whole Miami thing, and I haven't done my research on that. I haven't watched the video. Chantel sent me something else, and I didn't watch it yet, but I'm going to. So, we definitely will talk about What else on my list? I want to make sure I don't forget nothing. Okay. Now, y'all make sure that y'all plugged in. Make sure that you like, subscribe every video that you've ever watched of mine. Make sure that you are liking and subscribing to Chantel's Empress Tarot. Make sure that you are checking out Lola Bands on YouTube. Make sure that you are checking out Day Day's Creations 22 on Instagram. Get my bitches together. You know what I'm saying? So, support all my friends. Um, Make sure that y'all check out the merch. Check out the link tree. Um... For my members only, I'm going to be dropping some shit um, for y'all because I didn't forget about y'all. I appreciate y'all for supporting the motherfucker. Um, anybody that's on my Patreon, I really appreciate the support and the love. Y'all have no idea. So, let's move forward. Who's first? Who's first? Hmm. It's such a hefty list. Um, <laughs> okay, let's do Paula Abdul. You was the first picture that I saw. Spirit, angels, ancestors. Um... Oh, Spirit said, mm -mm. the other day, this one, she liked the party already, already. Um, well, her spirit's a little bit lighter, too. Um, Spirit, angels, and Justice, Paula Abdul, and her true feelings towards Nigel. Paula Abdul, what's the energies of Paula Abdul right now? Spirit, angels, and Justice. How is she feeling? Um, right now we got the strength in reverse. So, um, I think that she has to pull together or she had to muster what she is telling us. I think that, um, Paula has seen a lot of things in the industry and I feel like this, Paula, if you're going to tell them one person, tell them every fucking bag. I don't know why I feel like you're trying to pinpoint him when you've seen and you can bear witness to other things. And I'm seeing Harvey Weinstein right now. So I think that you've even seen something that he has done to someone else. And I am i don't want to question you about why now, but why now? You feel me? Everything in this video is alleged. Again, she's looking for that strength. We got the strength in reverse. Um, I think that she had to muster up what she gave us. And um, 
I also feel like she's going to have a lot of backlash. Like she's eight ball. Like she's going to be blackballed um, in this situation. Again, for some reason, I feel like she was already blackballed or taxes. It's something that wasn't fine tuned with her name. And it's like she had to rebuild it and come back. And now she's having to rebuild again because she, she will get blackballed again. I don't know who Nigel is in the entertainment business, but he's somebody. Oh, shit. Look, everything is fine. Upright. She was acting like everything was okay. Going to work. And the thing is that um, she has seen people being stabbed in the back. And she has bare witness to this acting like she don't see shit, like I said before. So, in this situation, Paula, just saying, if you didn't advocate for someone else, why do you think someone should advocate for you, bitch? What makes you special? I'm just saying. Like, I'm just keeping it a buck, right? Like, if I seen somebody getting S8, right? I'm going to say or do something about it. You ain't do shit or say no nothing. So why should they come? Anyone should come to your beck and call and your rescue right now. Tell me why. I'm just saying. And I, I said the same thing about Taraji yesterday, bitch. I did. I said, Taraji, I feel you. And I don't think that you're wrong. I just think that you should have said it when it mattered. The <laughs> fuck? Like now it don't really matter, bitch. Do it. It don't matter to me. I'm just saying. Um... I, but I, I, I'm getting that type of energy for you, Spirit. Come through. Spirit, angels, ancestors, give me some energy for um, Nigel. Give me, because his, his energy is a little bit darker. <laughs> a lot darker. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Nigel. Spirit, angels, ancestors, what energy is Nigel in? Spirit, angels, ancestors, Nigel. What energy is Nigel in right now? Nigel. Nigel. Nigel, oh, he's stingy. <gasps> Look, <laughs> as soon as I said he's stingy. In the split, we got the nine of cups in reverse. I feel like um, the things that uh, he has done to people that they can rejoice over, I feel like they've had to pay for those things um, via your body or um, uh, some type of um favoring of his um and i and i get that with the king of wands and uh, wands wands where that come from wands um i feel like he uses his male flask to get the things that he want and you gonna have to uh use his male flask to get what you want and unfortunately that's what he's giving um and then in, at the bottom we got empress with the pregnant with the world in reverse so again if you want your dream you can have it if you suck on a flask, flask, flash, mouth phallus. <laughs> so yeah, that's what that is. Um, King Dick round here. He got that lion energy. Um, and again, he can make all, he can make you to impress. He can make your dreams come true, but just know you going, oh shit, spirit. God damn. What the, oh, where that come from? Just know you going to fuck for it though. Look, and then we got the Knight of Pentacles um, that, that fell out. <laughs> listen, when, I don't know how, how that just happened. Y'all, listen. Cause be doing what they want. Anyway, um, we got the Empress in reverse. So I feel like that's, that's your dream. He can make you, he can put you on top of the world. You can birth your dreams. You can have a flourishing career if you, you do what you're supposed to do. Like if, if, if you doing what you should, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm getting. Spare real quick. Paula's feelings towards Nigel. Spare Angel's ancestors. Let me. My daughter using my laptop, so I'm working with a smaller space right here. Okay. Spirit, angels, ancestors. How is Paula feeling towards Nigel right now? How is Paula feeling towards Nigel? This might be a little bit long. How is Paula feeling towards Nigel right now? Spirit, angels, ancestors. How is Paula feeling towards Nigel? Escape. She's trying to get the fuck away. Um, she's trying to like get rid. It's like um, uh, uh I'm saying black thing, black her throw up black shit. Um, detox, detox, gratitude spirit. Cause I was like, what word is that? Like, um, I mean, what's the word for that, for that black stuff? Like you're, 
You y'all know the foot thing when you put the um Asian thing at the bottom of your feet and it's all black. That's she's spitting out venom. Um, so maybe she may tell something like she may um she she may tell what she has seen in the past because she got the balls now um that she's escaping from the situation because uh this situation is but I think that you took a break. I would like to know just me personally if I was S eight on my job. I think if I'm correct, you took a break and then you came back to work and, and that break was not, um, you didn't say what happened in the break. You didn't get anything. Like you don't have any evidence to prove what happened. And then when you went back to work, I'm assuming it happened again. So I almost feel like, you know, that this is who that person is though. Like you already know this. And for whatever reason, you thought that you were exempt or you felt like you had enough pull in the game or enough time in the game. Because the thing is, Paula has been in the game, I think, since um, I keep saying a Gatco commercial. I don't know if she and Jennifer Lopez did that, but I remember Jennifer Lopez did that, right? So Paula Abdul has been in the game for a very, very, very long time. So I wouldn't think that I would have to do something like this or I would think that someone that um you know like I don't think that she thought this of this person but after she after that happened to her I think that it her whole persona of that person changed and um I I my my, my question is why the fuck go back to work like I wouldn't go back to work there I would me being who I am being a grown ass woman I would go to uh uh like a, a place that is very um that's not uh populated like that i would go i would drive out i would have my driver drive me out to a patient first urgent care whatever the fuck a, a far away have me examine give me all the information and then i would submit it you know like to a judge or whatever however it go but that local police department wouldn't have nothing to do with it because i promise you it's going to get lost at the She's trying to escape this romance, but it's not a real romance. Like, it's like, I wouldn't want that anxiety going to work because I'm feeling anxiety right now where you're like ducking someone at work and you just don't want to be alone with them. And the minute that they get you alone, it's like, it's happening again. I think that's what happened to her because I think maybe she thought it wasn't going to happen again or... Because I feel like she was a little bit confused because Paula know the game. But I just feel like she thought she was out the trenches. I really do. I really do. Spirit Angels and Sisters. Um, how is Paula feeling towards Nigel right now? Paula towards Nigel. differences haunting blessing listen what's at the bottom spirit boss yo in the split we got haunting because understand this is her job this is the blessing but there are differences on her job and it's haunting the fuck out of her and she wants to escape this shit because it's all coming from her boss listen He's on top of her in some type of way um, and differences. Um, he's, uh, wait, boss was at the bottom. Put that back. Um, he, uh, he, 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 he's, he's able to get away with this shit. This ain't the first time and it ain't going to be the last. Okay. Um, the Paula, this, this did happen to her. This did happen to her. And I'm sorry that it happened to you. Um, spirit, angels, and ancestors, give me, um, and she's trying to get away from it. That's why she's suing him now. Um, I don't know if the statues were worn out. I don't know if she has any evidence from either time that he done this. Because it, my thing is this. Not trying to... Because I'm a victim too. Okay? And what I'm saying is that we can't prove it. What's the point in going all that way for them to get you on a stand? For them to tell you that you crazy and it didn't happen to you because you don't have no evidence. And I'm saying that because I too was also told ain't shit happen to you or um i don't believe you and shit like that and i didn't have any evidence except my fear except my truth except the trembling in my body as i'm telling you this like that is the truth but 
you ain't got you ain't even a kid so it's not it's not like you got to have some proof Paula I'm just saying it ain't it ain't no point in suing nobody if you ain't got no proof that's all I'm saying as a victim to a victim that's all I'm saying if you ain't got no evidence and you can't prove it I don't know how these niggas going to jail because I would take mine and I would take mine to court I just spent a hell of money for the past three years in court but you know if I ain't have to financially deal with it I would probably take my accusers for them to go to jail, but I don't think they these niggas going to jail. These niggas, I wasn't the first person that they did it to. Now, damn sure wasn't the last. I know other people that they did it to. Uh -huh. Anyway, moving on. Um, who is this nigga spirit? Who is this nigga? Nigel, spirit, come through. What? Who is this nigga? Nigel. Wow, a liar just popped. Y'all seen how it flicked out, right? Whoa. He's a liar. At the bottom, he's insecure. Come through this bitch spirit. Angels ancestors. Who is Nigel? Who is Nigel? Huh? I don't even know what that was. Y'all saying it, <laughs> but I'm going to keep going. It ain't flip flip. Nigel. 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 I want a little bit of Hennessy. A truth and a lie. So he, he leads with truth, but he's a liar. He's one of those people that mix a little bit of truth like when paula um when as paul is telling us that he sa'd her he's saying that was consensual but he's fucking lying that's not it was not consensual action is in the split that listen this was not consensual this was not consensual and paula even um I don't want to say she was pregnant, but I want to say that maybe she wasn't sure if she was pregnant or she he gave her something. I'm not sure. But I feel this action is giving me like that friction. Like we were together and that was consensual. No, it wasn't. And you fucking know it wasn't. I said no. Y'all women say no all the fucking time. That's the type of energy that he's giving me. You feel me? At the bottom, effort. Listen. The effort that 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 he the money behind him, Paula. I don't. I I don't. Mm -mm. Paula under under effort. We got social media. I think that he will destroy you. Like it'll be getting essayed all over again. Sometimes it ain't worth the headache. Like from victim to victim, sometimes it ain't worth the headache. I'm just saying. I know something will happen to both of them niggas. Trust me. And shit has been happening to both of them niggas. But it is what it is. Spirit Angels Ancestors. Um, Nigel. Knock, knock. One more call for Nigel and we going to the uh, karmic deck. Nigel. You need one more card for, your, for who you are. Nigel, Nigel. And the situation. We already at 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. He's wealthy motherfucker and shit. Single, free. Listen, they about to ban you. He's gonna the the money behind him, the efforts behind him that he's going to crush you. You will be a free agent, bitch, because he's going to make blackball you. I'm you. Should, I if you don't have no evidence, Paula, this wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth throwing your career away. I'm just saying it would have been worth it if you would have got our. Our, our kit done and you would have had the evidence that makes sense or someone that's seen it and not afraid to tell it that would have been how but i don't i don't think that mm. who is nigel spirit angels ancestors who is nigel the nigga trying to get on my shoulder who is nigel spirit angels ancestors who is nigel toxic sex he is a r -er. Uh, er, he is at the bottom. We have I don't love you anymore in reverse. He got mommy issues, bitch. He got mommy issues. Karmic. Shh. 
Listen, he got mommy issues, fire someone rising. Something in him fuels him to do that. It's something to, de to do blah, blah, blah. something to deal with his mother. That shit went in the trash. Just say you're cheating ass. You so you is trash with your situation ships, Nigel. Your shit. Next deck, spirit angels and ancestors, Ratchet 2.0. Who is Nigel? Who is Nigel? He's a cheater. Like, he cheats in people's contracts. He tells people that it's something. Like, say that you're coming to do a show or something, and you and, and in your contract, it's saying you got to do bop, bop, bop. He like, oh, no, no, no. You didn't check the fine print. He one of them. Spirit, come through this bitch. His con, his con, he's a con artist. Come through, Spirit. Come through this bitch. I was trying to say contracts, but you say a con artist is what the, because I was like, it's in a contract. Con artist is what the fuck he is. Nigel. Unknown um, Shadow Lark. He got a whole lot of fucking secrets and he ain't about to tell none of his. Y'all got him fucked up. At the bottom, we got boxed. I don't fuck with you. Didn't I just say he was going to put you in an uh, eight ball? You, He was going to black ball you. Didn't I say that? He's going to black ball you, Paula. I pray that you still got a job. I don't know. You got to check your contract. That's all I can say. Any, Nigel, Nigel, who are you? Rich boys only, please. I'm telling you, that's the bread. He, for part of the rich boys group, um, you or your mama ain't shit. Listen, he got mommy issues to the core, so he don't give a fuck what anybody say. I didn't do it, bitch. I'm, he might want to be one of them kids where he probably killed the cat, and his mother was like, oh, no, he just hugged it too tight. He, one of them. Like, he he's so creepy. Secret he hater. Listen, he got mommy issues. Something about him don't like women, and that's why he R's them. Secret baby, and we saw a pregnancy again. I don't know if Paul was when he did that. I don't know if she had a pregnancy scare or if she um miscarried or got. I, I don't know what the fuck. All I do know is that she accused him of saying, and then she took a leave of absence and she came back and it happened again. That's all I know. All right, y'all let me know what the fuck is going on. Spirit angels and ancestors, who is Nigel? Tell his secret spirit, bear it all. Argument happened. Alley, back door. Listen. W, women. I feel like he have a lot of arguments with women and with his insecure ass. And I feel like he attacks women. At the bottom, what we got? Danger unknown. Like I said, well, what did I say in the beginning about him? I said Paula didn't feel like this about him in the beginning. She, he never gave her that. So she felt comfortable with him at first. And then she found out. But she fucked around and found out. Spirit angels ass. Illusion shit show. Nothing is what it seems. He's a fucking liar and fought back because she's fighting back now. But she's going to get pow pow, not pow pow, literally, but eight ball. He getting rid of that ass. He like, um, you can fight back, but bitch, it don't matter. The only thing that matters is what people can prove. And that's what I've been saying this whole time. Spirit angels, ancestors, Nigel. Nigel is not what he seems to be. I'm going to just, I'm, I'm going to say that. Nigel. What's that thing off of, um, I'm seeing that, that, uh, green thing, that slithery, um, I don't know if, I, I don't know if he got feet or, I think he got feet inside the Monsters, Inc. movie. Um, it's that reptile looking thing, but it slithers, but it got feet, I think. I, I, I would have to see the lineup of the cartoons, but it's that thing. He's, he's sh giving me, like, shifting into that. Oh my God. Is he a shapeshifter? Oh fuck. He could be a shapeshifter. <laughs> Cause that was wild as shit. At the bottom, we got Da Vinci Cole. He a part of the Brotherhood. Dirty fucking rat. Listen, Paula. He got hella control. He he's like part of the board members, bitch. He, this. Paula, Paula, go go sit down and forget that this ever happened. I'm sorry, okay? That scared me a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck? At night, 
So I don't know if this situation, you got me stuttering. I don't know if the situation happened that night, but robbery flew in a trash can. Um, so he has definitely stolen other people's career and backdoored them. Um, we got shots, pow, pow. And I feel like he took shots towards these people in their careers. And he probably knows about some other sinister things um, in the music, ind I mean, in the entertainment industry, because that is an entertainment. That's like, uh, I don't know which show it is. I think it's Idol, but I'm not sure. It's one of them shows that she was on. But look, y'all. Oh. This is all, uh, this is it. We got X marks the spot, danger unknown again, building as we already know, serial killer among us. So he's a serial -er, R when I, when I was saying it early, he's serial at it. He does this and he could have had uh, other people pregnant as well. And we got the letter Q. Y'all let me know where Q would come at. Um, and uh, I just want to elaborate on this letter X that I made for um, the alphabet X, but I also made it for X Monster Spot. I've realized that um, in the music industry and the entertainment industry, they go like this. I didn't realize that. And as I was, um, ex every time when I'm explaining this card and I'm saying X Monster Spot, X Monster Spot, yes, X Monster a target, but it also acts as a, brotherhood symbolization bitch yes i know right so again like i said earlier he part of the fucking brotherhood that building basement and and body of water listen he is dangerous unknown he knows all about the shits that be going down he's a dangerous man paula if i was you i would really think about i would have thought about this thoroughly before i i, I said i'm about to open up my mouth because again as a victim if you're not going to get a result, I don't see the point in not saying anything. Because I know me. If I ain't getting no fucking result, I ain't about to say shit. I'm just not. Because don't nobody care that much. And I'm not saying it to be disrespectful. I'm saying it to put a real battery pack in your back, bitch. Don't nobody care. Nobody. You are a grown-ass woman now. You couldn't do shit then. Well, you could have did something then, which is redundant now. It ain't no point now because you don't have no evidence. You don't have nothing backing you up, sis. Ooh, what's going on with this? Like, I, I, like, as a person that understands and empathize and sympathize, I don't see the point in opening up old wounds for new Himalayan salt. When you, when you, when it's probably going to be harder for you to shut that wound. I'm going to suggest that you get therapy and not waste money because I don't, I, I'm not sure what angle you're coming from with this. I'm, I don't know if you're doing this because you're fed up that he's not, that he keeps getting away with it. I don't know if it's because you, you need a couple dollars and shit might not be going all that great or if you really trying to take a stance paul like i don't know where your energy lies with this situation like what's the i i just see that you're you're you don't have a lot of strength because i feel like you feel beaten but again i don't think that you'll feel this low and you would need to find all the strength that you don't have if you well, kind of just move on. And again, I'm not telling anyone to just move on. It happens. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that if you don't say something in a time where it can be proven, don't say nothing at all. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Because it's basically your word against theirs. And, and I'm here to protect the victim. The victim is going to be hurt. Being dragged through the mud. On a prosecution, um, being like, they want to tear you apart, bitch. And I, for one, don't want to see no victim being torn apart or picked apart when they're not lying. You feel me? So, I just don't, I don't, I don't like the, mm, we're going to get on something else. Anyway, thank y'all for tuning in, tuning in to Mac and Doll 7 Run on Filter Tyra. Everything in this video is alleged. My best wishes um, are to Paula. And um, I hope that your dick fall off. Um... Mr. Uh, what's your name again? Shit. What's your name? Nigel. I hope you dick fall off, man. Yeah. I really did. Um, y'all make sure y'all drink plenty of water. Y'all make, <laughs> y'all start reading books. I'm about to start reading. I'm just trying to pick a book to read. Um, 
Y'all make sure that y'all are giving back every season, not just the past season. I'm going to need for y'all to do that. Um, Y'all make sure that y'all y'all feeding your neighbor. Y'all uh, praying, you know, you're praying for your neighbor. You feeding someone who can't feed themselves. Lead with love and understanding, please. There's not enough love and there's not enough understanding inside this shitty ass world. Too much going on. It just keeps getting worse and worse every single day. So I'm going to need for y'all to stay prayed up, stay hydrated. And treat y'all bodies good and treat the next person how you want to be treated. It's not that fucking hard. I don't see what's wrong with people. But anyway, I'm out this bitch. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace.